The Green MP Julianne Genta has delivered a blunt assessment of her party's election result as she launches her bid to become the party's next female co-leader. With nominations due to close tomorrow, she and fellow MP Madame Davidson are so far the only two to put forward their names uh, for the position vacated by Materia Ture just before last year's general election. Ms Genta announced her candidacy in front of Parliament this morning, telling reporters that she could be a strong voice for the party. Having Green Ministers outside Cabinet means that we do have the freedom to stand up for Green Party values and policies when we disagree with the government. And under my co-leadership, I want there to be no doubt that the Green Party will not be pushed around or taken for granted. That I will not hesitate to stand up and disagree when we have points of disagreement with the government. But I also want to emphasize to all Green Party members and supporters that we will be constructive partners in government, that we will enact the good green change that they have voted for us to achieve. I absolutely believe that we can recover from our last election result. Uh, Julianne Genta was asked about the Green Party and how it handled the controversy around the former co-leader Materia Ture and her admission of benefit fraud in the weeks leading up to the election campaign. I think that we took a very bold policy with a bold personal story to the electorate, but many voters didn't hear the message that we were trying to get out. And I think that was ultimately the weakness. I think it was the right policy. I think it was incredibly brave for Matidia to share her personal story, but I don't think that enough voters actually heard the message that she was delivering. So do you think the story um, overrode the policy in a way because who was talking about the Greens benefit policy? I think that we need to be incredibly careful and brave, but we have to manage the risks whenever we're communicating. We need to be realistic about our ability to communicate with hundreds of thousands of voters or millions of voters. So do you not think the risks were managed in that situation? I think we would all agree that risks could have been managed better. Julianne Genta.